we are going to be learning how to print an activity from your Seesaw app. So these are a couple of little hacks that you can use. So if you have an activity that you would like to complete, um, you cannot complete or print a template that is an added response from your Seesaw app, but to get around that, there's two different ways you can do that. The first way is to go ahead and click on add a response, click on your student's name, and you can use a text box or um, something just to show that you are going to be completing this as a printed document, just so your teacher is aware of that and knows that you are completing the activity. And then you can click on that to check it to submit that response so your teacher is aware. Then it is put into your child's journal. Once it is in your child's journal, you can click on that journal, and right here you can see it says Print PDF. So you're going to go ahead and click there on Print PDF, and once you have done that, it's going to process. It may take a little bit of time when you click on that View PDF. Just be patient and it should pop up. And so scroll down, and you do have the PDF there that you can complete as a printed out document instead of online if your child's having trouble with any of the tools. Um, this way, it makes it smaller um, just because you have this little QR code down here and it might be a little more difficult for your child to complete. So another way that you can get around doing that is, let me delete that out of my student here so we can try it again. Okay, the other way that you can do this is if you go to your activities again and you click on add response, just like we did the first time, student name, and then you're back into your template again and you want to be able to print this out. One of the things you can do there is make sure that you know how to do a screen grab or a screenshot. So depending on what um, device you're using, you need to figure out how to do that. So on a MacBook, you do Command-Shift-4, and it creates a nice little thing here where I can go like this and copy it. And it's going, I need to make sure I get all the things there so you can see how it kind of highlights it. And you'll hear that little shot go like that. Then you can open up that document, that picture that you just took um, over here. You'll find it somewhere on your desktop. Sorry, my desktop is kind of a mess. I do a lot of work on my computer. So if I click on that, it should open it, and then you can print that out to complete it. Then after you have completed your work on that document, so you can see right here that has opened that up as a file that's printable. Right there, it's bigger, it gives more room for the child to work, so you can print that out. And then once you are finished with that, you can take a picture of it and put that as your response. So you want to make sure that either way you're doing it, that the teacher is aware that you are doing it in a different format than what was requested. So um, if you want to take a picture of it, then you're going to click on your photo there, and then your camera should come up so you could take a picture. My camera's coming on, so you'll get to see me. There I am. So you can just click right there on your camera and make sure that you're holding your um, work up to the camera as you're taking that picture. To make it large enough for your teacher to see, you can just drag out like this, and then I'll be able to see your work. Click Submit Work like this and that will be uploaded. So either one of those ways is okay. If you choose not to submit it in this way where we can see the picture of it, you need to save the paper copies that you're making so those can be turned in. I hope this helps answer some of those questions about how to print out an activity if you needed help with that.